Neat Games. Welcome to Heat Seed. This is a magical world where giant life trees produce burning hot heat seeds. Just a small sliver of these seeds can power a steam engine for over a year. This is your magical leaf companion. They are a powerful leaf from an ancient life tree. Also, they are your magical shield. As a life tree science and magic student, you would rather read a book than go on adventures. But you must go on a quest to discover the source of the rot root dark magic that is killing off the life trees. Worst of all, this curse is killing the person you care about most. All alone with your brother's steam blade, you must travel far off into the lands abandoned by civilization for hundreds of years. This is the slightly updated lore I have so far. What do you think? Hello world, and welcome to Heat Seed. In the past few weeks, I've done a little bit of progress. Firstly, I made this cool little leaf follower. They will go along with you on your journey, and they help you by becoming your shield. And I got it working pretty good. And also, I've been working in Blender. I modeled the little leaf follower and this cool little backpack. This is your steam pack, and of course it holds your junk. And also, if you look on the side, there's a little canister, and it contains a heat seed sliver. So this little shard is like your portable power source. And later, I hope to make things like steam bombs. So that's kind of the lore explanation on how you can fill up your bombs with steam. And also, I made this cool blade. This is your steam blade. And I'm going to add some steam effects and some particles and sound effects. Because this is also powered by steam. It helps boost your swing with little steam jets. I think these two items represent the steam technology very well because in this world it's magic based and steam technology based. And combat is still the hardest thing for me. It's very simple so far. And I think it, hopefully for the next video I'm going to try to make a very simple ranged attack enemy. We'll see how it goes. And here we have the Forbidden Cavern. And this is an ancient steam temple. And if you saw my YouTube post, I started this area from this sketch right here. So I added some of these steam decorations. These ancient gears and cogs can still spin because they must be powered by a large heat seed. So the place is still chugging along, even though it's been abandoned. And here are some little destroyable plants. Currently, they always drop a gem. Let me know if you have any ideas for a currency system item, because gems is quite generic. But it does work. And currently, the intention of this little starting temple is just to show the player how you automatically climb, how you automatically jump and grab onto ledges, and also how your jump floats because you have the leaf magic. And also, these doors switch the rooms. So here's the second room, and the first room has unloaded. Here's some more steam technology up on the wall. And this room features a locked door. So this will teach the player, oh no, I can't get through this. And then they'll see this button over here. And my idea for this was that this teaches the player you have to walk to drop. So if I walk, 
I just go down. I will definitely be changing this in the future, but for now, I was mostly just testing different level making methods and techniques. This is Pro Builder plus Decorations. Next, I want to try making a level in Blender, see how that goes. So here, if you fall down, you'll find out on the other side that a ladder is missing. So if you go this way and you jump, jump, and then float over here, you can push this button. And there the ladder appears. And then you can climb up and head into the first open section. Woohoo! And yep, that's pretty much all I've done that I can think of. I learned how to do this cool fog from a YouTube video. I'll link it below. I need to adjust it because it does make my game lag a little bit, but I do like the way it looks. And if you didn't see my last video, the color theme for my game is kind of yellow versus purple. And they are complementary colors, so it really looks good together. So as usual, please let me know what you think or if you have any suggestions. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!